what's up you guys hey cancer it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again so soon so soon because you guys have been selected for the most viewed video yes you guys came in in slot number two right behind libra so thank you guys so much to all of you for all the love and support all the like shares and all to, to all my new subscribers shout out to you guys and thank you so much for all of the love if there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpio and Red Tarot, you can do so by clicking the hyperlink in on the about tab right under the link section. It says Scorpio and Red Tarot as simply book me. Again, it's Scorpio and Red Tarot as simply book me, okay? If there is anyone, if this video resonated and you would like to give a love donation, you can feel free to do so by clicking that hyperlink that is in the description with my PayPal instructions, okay? So thank you guys again so much for all of the love, the likes and the shares and the subscribes and the support. Thank you guys again. So let's get into your bonus overall general reading. And um, so how we're going to do this? General general love we're going to do divine feminine divine masculine and then we're going to just do singles okay and possibly a closing message if it doesn't make it too long that's how i did libra so y'all buckle up this is going to be a long reading and i will make sure that i put the time stamps in your video just like i did for libra okay so letting you guys know put your headphones on y'all already know that i cuss so if y'all at work put your headphones on y'all know my videos are not safe for work and it's not safe for you to be watching around children so don't be messaging me talking about oh i was watching your video my cat my child started cussing like a sailor no don't put that on me honey don't mm -mm, don't you do it don't you do it <laughs> don't y'all do it don't do it don't do it again because someone already did it don't do it again okay so look <laughs> And it wasn't the cancer, it wasn't the cancer, so y'all know. <laughs> cancer be like, I don't know, I wouldn't have said no shit like that. I know, because y'all got sense. Y'all got sense. That's why I love my cases. Anyway, so let's get into the reading, all right? So let's do a quick prayer, you guys. Thank you, God, so much for waking us up today. Thank you so much for keeping us vigilant, keeping us determined, keeping us steadfast, and, you know, working on that self-love and that worth and just elevate into a higher place cancer is elevating their self right now they are just tired of the just regular just the stale the born and the mundane it's just like they need some spark they need some spice they need to be higher and cancer is working day in and day out you know even when people think that cancer is just fine and they're not thinking about this change and then the newness and They've been mapping out in their head the way they want their life to look, how it to smell, how it to taste, how it to feel. And it's an ongoing process. Even when people think that cancer is not thinking about it, cancer is thinking about it. And please help cancer get those divine guidance, those steps to get them to this new picture-perfect vision on how they want their life to be, this new height of elevation, this new height of growth, because cancer has learned so much, and it's like, throughout all of this knowing and this growth, it's just like, I want to see it being present in my world, what I've learned, and that's what cancer is doing right now, they are making the necessary transitions after the growth, implementing it into their life, so, Father God, please give cancer guidance throughout this transition um we're going through march madness right now and um it's march madness for a reason because listen this transformation is about to be a big one cancer father god please allow us to rest during our journey please allow us to be around positive energy Please allow us to not be distracted because, listen, when we trying to change the Lord, the devil be working hard, don't they? Cancer, don't he be working hard on? Listen, I'm a water sign. I already know. I ain't no cancer, but I'm a Scorpio. I'm a water sign. I already know. Because, listen, water signs got a good heart, bruh. And when we really trying to change, bruh, it be so hard sometimes because just the negativity and that, and that you know, it be, it just be trying to pull you down. But cancer is fighting. Dear Lord, please allow them to be vigilant and determined in their fight for this transition, Father God. Please give the sign of cancer rest. Please give them guidance. Please give them the reassurance that everything will be okay. To keep that hope and that faith. And most importantly, if you love yourself, you can love yourself through anything. 
You can make anything happen that you put your heart and your mind to and you're determined to do it and you're going to see the results for all of this hard work that you've been putting in. Father God, please put your hands and wrap your arms around the sign of cancer. Please give them that. Listen, cancer needs a hug. They need that, they need that hug right now. They need that comfort. Father God, wrap your arms around the sign of cancer because everything going to be okay. And honey, let me tell you something. When you come up out of this, you're going to be crying, all right, but it's going to be tears of joy. And exhale, you're going to fall to your knees and say, thank you, Father. I mean, bawling, crying. Bawling. We ready for that cry. Father, bring it to us. Please give us guidance for the sign of cancer. Thank you so much, Father God. Thank you. All right? So, I hope y'all was feeling that because I was sure feeling it. Because I know, I know. All of the transition, everything cancer's been in their mind a lot lately. They've been trying to implement everything that they've learned, implementing it into their life. It's like I, I, I can't say that I just changed. I got to see the change. You know what I'm saying? I want people to know that I changed, not, not by what I'm saying, by the way that I'm moving, by what I'm showing them, by my actions, by the way blessings is coming into my life. I want them to see the change and know it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Father God, please give me guidance for the sign of cancer. Thank you so much for March. Bonus guidance. Heartbreak. Alright. Dealing with some heartbreak here. Whoa. Alright, so cancer, somebody that you love. Somebody, your heart is broken. Because it's someone that you love deep within that is your soulmate that's not expressing their love to you anymore. And you haven't been able to find peace. You've been trying to hold on to this situation and it looks like that's the Grim Reaper standing over that. It's like you might need to let it go. You might need to let it go. <laughs> and this shit funny as <laughs> And it's like, Casey, okay, so you've been guarded. Hold on, let me take this thing off of this light because I want y'all to be able to, like, seriously see this. And I know this shit about to burn my little ass eyes up, but, bruh, I just want y'all to see this car because it's like cancer guarded. And it's like, while he's sitting there, man, in his position, here come this other nigga, like, standing there with him, picking up a stick. He's like, nigga, who the fuck is you? Like what the that's like when you in Oh Jesus Babe, I'm gonna have to call you back later girl I have to call you back later girl That's just like a man two men in a bathroom stall and it is it's it's so much space and opportunity for this man to go stand at the urinal and take a piss anywhere else and he just gonna come stand right next to you and pull his shit out and come piss right now in case of the like what like nigga you ain't you couldn't go nowhere else to take a stand somewhere else nigga like y'all see me here and what you do <laughs> brother that is too fucking funny in a hermit in reverse bruh no please give me some of this bruh like i'm sorry like why is that picture so Fucking funny to me, bruh. Oh my gracious, dear lord. Kiss the side, where? Fuck you, come from. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Father. Father. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? I am sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all can't tell me that this bitch ain't funny as shit, bruh. He's. I'm so Okay, let me let it go, bruh. Oh my god, yeah, because y'all know these are new decks. Every time that you guys send me a dollar, two or three, I save it. And I have certain decks, certain equipment, certain things that I just have in mind for my page that I wanted for it to grow. So all of this stuff, y'all made this happen. All of these decks y'all see right here, all of this stuff y'all see right here. This other than this deck right here and this deck right here. Every last one. Oh no. Other than these decks right here. These three, these these three right here. This one's new, this one's new, this one's new, and this one's new. Oh, and that one's old. But yeah, I literally bought seven decks. And it's because of y'all, and it's because of y'all's love and support. So thank you guys so much for sending in the donations and things like that. Thank you guys so much. So let's get into this feed. And sorry about my goofy ass laughing and shit, because I'm sorry. That card almost took me out. Like I said, 
listen, cancer is is suffering from heartbreak right now. They're still suffering from heartbreak, okay? But you see those swords are coming out and they're finally getting to the point where it's like their heart is still broken, but they've finally pulled those swords out of their chest and put a bandage over it. And honestly, what I am getting here, a lot of you cancers, and if you've been following my readings, a lot of you cancers put yourself in this situation. You know, you caused someone else heartbreak and you ended up hurting somebody else's heart. I'm sorry, you hurt someone's else you hurt someone's heart you broke someone's heart and you ended up breaking your heart in the fray as well this was someone that was your true soulmate and that you really love you still love this person but this person has moved on because when you had them in your life you were not expressing you were not treating them and giving them that adequate love and affection and treating them like the soulmate that you feel and you know that they are to be today so Cancer is still heartbroken over this because they still love this person. This is their soulmate, but they don't know how to get this person to turn around and to at least listen to them. You know what I'm saying? And you see how they're hugging each other and things. It's like cancer just would like want one moment. Just let me express myself and tell you how much I love you, how much I'm sorry. I am healing my heart too. Like you don't even understand how I was hurt throughout the situation. Not to say that cancer deserves the right to claim to be no victim, especially when you put yourself in a situation. But still, cancer is hurt. They really love you. They are lost without you. And this is what is causing that heartbreak that this person really walked. I mean, when I'm talking about this person walked away from cancer, this person walked away from cancer. And I don't think that cancer ever thought that there would be true ending to this love because you know that kind of twin flame thing it's like you're going to go away but you know we'll we'll always come back to each other i don't think that cancer cancer does not believe that this person is going to come back to them okay they just don't see it and they could have possibly been with another water sign um another cancer pisces uh, another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and then we got um, the air signs to their um, what is that Libra, something, something. Anyway, listen, Cancer is still holding on. I believe that that foundation that was there, even though there was a death to it, there was an ending to it. There was an ending to it. Clearly, see the Grim Reaper there. They're still holding on to that foundation for dear life. It's like, I'm not going to let, you know, just because y'all say it's the end, I'm not going to just let you take this from me because this is something that's precious, precious to me and it's valuable to me. And when I can get myself together to give, I'll be able to be a little bit more giving. Um... Cancer has been holding itself back. They've been holding. They've been holding secrets. They've been holding and been keeping something from somebody. And I feel like maybe whoever they're dealing with now doesn't know that you know cancer's been guarded. And here you go this other person standing there like, okay, but what are we looking at? Like, what are we waiting on? Like, what's going on? And cancer's like, bitch, can you mind your business? Like, I'm, I'm standing here like doing my motherfucking thing, and like you try no, because I'm trying to figure out what the fuck we waiting on. Like, what's going on? Like, this person is trying to figure out, like, why cancer is so guarded and, like, why they so standoffish with them. Like, cancer has been standoffish with them in regards to their passion. They've been holding back their passions from this person. You know what I'm saying? Because deep down inside, the true secret is, is that cancer is still holding on to something else that was in the past that they're so heartbroken about that is dead and gone. And they're not trying to let this go. And this person is standing here with cancer trying to figure out, like, well, what the fuck are we, what, like, what, what, what are we, what are we doing? Minding my business, bitch. Get the fuck on somewhere. Like, why is you trying to worry about what the fuck I'm doing? Like, they're not trying. <laughs> brother. Brother. Cancer is like, nigga, I did not, I did not ask you to, like, Give me no advice to like fight this battle with me. Nothing. I feel like possibly 
um the person in cancer is with is just like i don't know what you so guarded about like why are you so distant why are you holding yourself back from me like that why are you being so stingy with your love and your affection and stuff like that like let me help you like i can i can help it i can help you throughout this and like cancer's like bitch i did not ask you to help me with nothing like go read the bible so go go do go read a book go do something like let me deal with this shit by myself cancer don't want nobody to help them it's like if can cancer is, is in this mode, like, you know how cancer is when they've been hurt or they feel hurt and they just, they wall people out. And it's like, cancer is like, look, I'm dealing with this heartbreak and stuff like this. This is something that's still evident and still very present in their life. It's something that they think about a lot. These are mental swords. They think about this person that they hurt. And they see this person also healing. Their heart has healed. And those swords have been thrown away. You know? That person healed. Now cancer's trying to heal. Even though that they love this person, they're not willing to let this go. But they realize that they've held their self back so long. They've. I feel like cancer has been present in the world and just going to work and doing everything but I feel like they might not have really been enjoying themselves they might not have been very engaging because you got you got this man with death looming over his shoulder and he's being resistant to an ending and he's holding on to something like so much so you can't even move do you understand what I'm saying I feel like there was no movement there was no movement. There was no actual work in whatever situation cancer is currently in because they were so busy holding on to something else. Holding their self back. Keeping their self guarded. Keeping this secret. You see what I'm saying? That they were trying to fight this ending. And if they could, they would go back to preserve it. Do you see what I'm saying? They are fighting the death. It's like, no, I'm going to show you. You're not going to come and take this from me. I don't give a fuck who you send. Okay? Because, and it's like, I... I <laughs> it's like, I also want to feel... I, 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 want, I want to say, like, this person... Almost shows you how stupid you you look standing there being guarded like that. Because you're like, well, what the fuck are you standing here for? Because you standing here. What you mean? Because I'm saying, because you standing here. I'm standing here because you standing here. Nigga, you look stupid. Nigga, you look stupid. So, I, like, what? I, I'm just doing what you're doing. I thought this is what we was doing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Cancer, okay, so like, nigga, let me do what the fuck I'm doing. Mind your business. Go. Like, I told you that earlier. Go. You know what I'm saying? And this death that's looming over, it's just like, bruh. You got to let this shit go, bro. Like, I'm coming. Like, regardless if you want to let this shit go or not, nigga, you better lay low. I am coming to take this shit from you. So, you might as well. I hope you got your healing. I hope you got your rest. It's time for you to, like, break out and come into the world again and re start anew. Like, you have a new chance to take everything that you learned and Take your canvas and, and paint it with whatever colors of the world that you want. But cancer has been letting their fears turn into reality. Cancer has been so much in their head thinking about this past love that they lost and how heartbroken that they are. And they still love this person. I wonder, does this person still love me? Do they still look at me as a soulmate? I don't think that they love me anymore. I'm trying to hold on to this, but, you know, maybe they're dealing with a Scorpio. That's the death. That's the Grim Reaper. Like, I'm trying to hold on to this, but I know that this person wants this end. I'm pulling other people into my situation that I ain't really asked to be here, but they're trying to help me fix the situation, and now I'm going to have to get rid of them, too. You know what I'm saying? Because I really just want to be left alone, but I know I can't keep secluding myself from the world like that. I want to make changes. I know what I'm guided to do, but I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know how to make these changes. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if my intuition that I'm 
listening to if it's the right thing if i'm if i'm making the right move it's like they're almost questioning their intuition do you understand because it's like i was guiding i was listening to myself before and this person got up and left me and now the only thing i got is the memories of the past and wondering if this person is ever going to come back to me but it looks like this person chose a different path you know, it's nothing emotionally there anymore. Only thing I have to do is look on at the past and I need to move on. There's nothing there anymore. There's nothing there anymore. But I can't, I can't. The whole point of coming to the moon is for you to be guided by your intuition. To follow your intuition. Trust your intuition. Not to let your anxieties your insecurities and your fears get the best out of you. That's what you're doing. You're letting your anxieties and your fears and your constant, constant looming in your head about this love that is lost and this heartbreak. You're not doing nothing but breaking your own heart and breaking everybody else's heart that is anywhere around you. I feel like this cancer, this cancer is like, shelled off to the world and it's time for you to come out that's why that hermit card is in the reverse like come out and be yourself do be around people do what makes you truly happy truly happy you should not have to wall everybody out like that and and, and be true to yourself because at the end of the day in your head if, if you allowing your fears you know what you don't want because that's all you're thinking about is your fears Right? So stop thinking about your fears for once and think about what you do want. Stop thinking about this. Stop thinking about, oh, well, she don't love or she or he don't love me no more. And I love them, but they don't love me no more. They're never coming back to me. They're not going to come back to you. They're not going to come back to you because that's what you're... That's what you're telling the universe. I'm holding on to this, but they want this to end. They're never going to come back to me. That's what the world is giving you. That's why you're so standoffish. That's why I feel like a lot of people think that you're mean right now. Like you've been being mean. You've been being mean. You so scared. You so scared. You are literally turning your fears into reality. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all know that Freddy Krueger movie? The, um, the Dream Master or whatever, whatever. Be careful of what you're constantly thinking about in your in your conscious and subconscious mind too because what you constantly dwelling on in your conscious mind will follow you into your dreams and your dreams can manifest into reality if this is all you're thinking about heartbreak you want to manifest it into your life that's what you're doing okay that's what this card is telling me that you're doing you are manifesting your fears into reality and i you you thinking this person is never going to come back to you. They're not going to come back to you because you're telling the universe that they're not. Focus on being happy. You understand? Stop focusing on this heartbreak. And I honestly feel like if this person went out there and stood out there and was acting guarded to show you how you acting and you looking at them like, you look stupid. Like, what the fuck are you doing? This person saying you looking stupid. Listen to, like, come on. I feel like God like maybe put that person in place to show you just how crazy you looking out here. Why are you walling everybody out and you being so guarded and defensive for people for what? Do you feel what I'm saying? For a lot of the cancers, you put yourself in this situation. So it's just like you mad at the world because you broke your own heart. That's not cool. And then there's some cancers that is dealing with somebody like this. This might be a cancer man or a cancer female dealing with somebody who is out there in party energy, dealing with other people other than you. Broke your heart. You know, now you don't love them no more. You're not expressing love to them no more. But they think that y'all soulmates. And they're trying to hold on to y'all's bond. And, and you're like, I... what, 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 are, what are you doing here? What are you doing? <laughs> you know and this person is probably not happy in their current relationships or whatever's going on in their life because they are so focused about this love children let your friends help you 
I feel like children are affecting y'all's uh, something. I feel like some of y'all cancers, y'all haven't just had a child, or y'all got a y'all got a child coming coming along the way. And I feel like somebody don't know this. Somebody don't know this. And you need to let your friends help you figure out how to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and break it to somebody that you're expecting a child. With someone that you got a lack of passion with. Y'all have y'all about to have a child with somebody y'all got a lack of passion with? What's going on? Hmm. Let go of control issues. I really am getting the um I'm really getting the energy that maybe some of y'all's worst fear just came in, came to reality. I want to say that I feel like for if there's any cancers that especially cancer women that didn't want kids or whoever y'all were with this person that's been holding back from you and it's been very guarded with you and you don't have to mirror their energy and be guarded with them as well to show them how stupid that they look but y'all are playing this game of y'all y'all being guarded right now against each other that you learned all you needed to learn you learned all you needed to learn but your fear has literally came to reality this person's left and they're not coming back to you but you have a child you have a child now and your friends have been helping you with this and you need to let your friends help you with this to have this to figure out a way to that's what you're holding back that's why I said somebody's holding back they're not telling somebody something they holding on to something that they feel like that will cause an ending Bruh. Bruh. There's been a lot of lack of passion in this relationship recently. And now y'all got this child. And I feel like the only person that know, know about this shit is your friends. And this is someone that you're not even passionate about. It's not somebody that you're even passionate with. And you heartbroken because the person that you really in love with is not expressing their love to you anymore. It's been an ending with that. Oh, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, there is most definitely someone that got like a secret child. Someone got a secret child with someone that they don't, they're not really passionate about. And I feel like it's a standoff. It's a standoff. And it's time for you to stop resisting this situation and come out and deal with it. And you're going to have to come out and deal with it. Yeah, your fears have, have literally turned into your reality. So whoever this is that their worst fear was another child, yeah. I feel like a lot of y'all's negative, pessimistic thinking and stuff like that. A lot of y'all's negative thinking and worrying and, and, and things of that nature. And, and and for a lot of you guys, y'all this third party energy. Like y'all running around out here fucking every Tom, Dick, Harry, Betty, Ann, and, and, and Sally Sue. Like y'all fucking everybody. You know what I'm saying? And... You lost, you lost the love of your life. Somebody that you still love. And this person is not expressing love to you. This person is not even expressing love to you anymore. And now you're in this situation. You're in this situation. And it could even be. I feel, I feel like. I feel like. During this retrograde period. Y'all could have even bumped back into your ex. Could, like I said, it could be a Scorpio. You got the um, Grim Reaper there. Or just someone that 
There was death looming. You know what I'm saying? There, there was an ending looming around this situation. Or there could already be an ending looming around the situation. This could be somebody that you're with currently, Cancer. And there was a heartbreak in your relationship because someone cheated. But someone is, still in, someone is still in love and someone ain't in love. And someone's holding on to a situation. Someone's still holding on to the situation and someone wants it to end. And now that y'all are at this... Y'all are in this face-off battle. Both of y'all are being guarded with each other. But y'all need to come out and address everything that was learned. Like, it is someone in this situation that is the cancer that has a lot of wisdom. And you know better. You know better. And someone has to be the adult in this situation. And it's cancer. And cancer knows, I can't continue. We're having this, 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 this standoff. We're having a standoff with each other. I don't wall you out. You walling me out. We both standing here looking stupid. Like, no. Nah, it's like, no. Mm -mm. My, my worst fear has came into reality. Okay? Not only did the person that I love. I Listen. Before, the person that they love got up and left. Because they realized... I'm the finest wine and you out here cheating on me with glasses of water. Fuck, I'm going to keep standing here wasting my time with you. You don't, if you cheating, you at least cheat with the same quality of what the fuck you had at home. This person ain't even cheat with the same quality of what they had at home. And then they sitting back wondering why the only thing they got is their thoughts and they, and like what? You wondering why you like this? You don't even have good quality. You had quality and you took it for granted. And that was driving this person insane because this person is not coming back. All right. And I also feel like there's a situation that cancer don't want to go back to. And I feel like this worst fear becoming a reality. They didn't want to go back to. Being in a relationship or having a child with someone that they don't have no passion with. That they don't want to be with. And you're heartbroken about this situation. Because I feel like. Because it's third party here. It's third party here most definitely. It's third party here. I mean this is this is evident. This is I feel and, and I'm telling y'all. Because I'm telling y'all. I feel like this is. The person, cancer broke the person that he was really in love with heart with the person that he's with now. The person that he broke their heart, they don't love cancer no more. And cancer don't love the person that they're with now. And they're holding itself back from this person. They're guarded from this person because they're still worried about this. And also, it's some shit going on in this situation with them. But the person that they with, that their worst fear and turn into their reality. So, cancer dealing with what's going on with the past and with the present. And they're just holding back and they're guarded. And they're just like, their worst fears become their reality. And they just don't know what the fuck to do, bruh. Children. Children are affecting cancer's life. In general. In general. And I feel like they've been trying to let their friends help them in this situation. And you need to let your friends help you because your friends is going to help you try to figure out how to, how to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person that you have this lack of passion with about this, this child. About this child. You know? And I feel like you definitely need to let this thing happen naturally. You need, you need, you need to... You need to get the help and the support that you need from your friends and family to figure out how to address this conversation when it does come up. It's going to come out. It's going to it's going to come out like whether you like it or not. And you need to address how you're going to be able to deal with this person that you having this face off with that both of y'all are mirroring each other's en energy and you realizing, look. What's happened, what's happened, what's happened, what's done is done. We can't continue. I feel like y'all just walking around each other. You know, like, ain't no love being expressed currently. Cancer's still tripping over the past. 
The present is a complete fucking nightmare. And they don't want to go back to living in a nightmare. And they can't believe that they spilled fucking wine for a glass of water. Alright y'all, so... Woo! Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me just get some... Mm, we ain't even get into breaking shit down off no twin flame shit, bro. This is just general. General and love energy, bro. Please give me a clarification on this love. Man. And I'm sorry if I was just like... If I kept repeating myself or... I'm I'm just trying to make sure I'm understanding like what I'm feeling, what I'm getting here, bruh. Whoa. What a pickle. Please give Cancer some additional guidance. Thank you so much. This must be a because I could have sworn wasn't in a divine masculine reading or something like that. One of the divine masculine in the one of the divine masculine readings, it was something about somebody having a baby. Three of Cups, that, that third party again. That four of, <laughs> four of Pentacles, that being held back again. The Judgment. Mm. The Fool. Going on. Going on. The Seven of Wands. Ooh, the Devil. Temptation. Whoo, child. Mm -mm. The Knight of Swords, bitch. Cancer. Can't fucking sir. Yeah, y'all definitely been out here with that third party bullshit. And y'all trying to hold back. Y'all holding a secret because y'all don't want to face the judgment for what y'all did, bruh. There's going to be balance. Please don't think you're going to please the look, Cancer. Listen, let me tell you something. You've been out here celebrating, you've been partying, you've been hanging around with a whole lot of women, all right? Or for some of the, um, you know, or a whole lot of men, vice versa, whatever. You've been out here. You understand? You've been having a good old goddamn time. And that good time added up to something. You understand? Something you're going to have to take care of. Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. And Casey don't like that. They don't like that. They're like, well, hold on. I know I was out here and I was this wizard and shit. And I'm out here, you know, making magic, you know. I'm out here making magic. I know I was making that much magic you did. So now you got something that you have to financially take care of. And you are not happy about that, Cancer. You do not want to give to this. Do you understand what I'm saying? You don't want to give to this cancer. You are holding on to every dime that you have. To every resource that you have. You don't want to let these resources go. Just because you went out and had a good time. Do you understand what I'm saying cancer? <laughs> you just like. Where's the balance in that? However you know. You are going to have to. Deal with the karma. Of what. You've done. You know that. You know that. You know that there will be karmic justice. You know that there will be a balancing of the scales. And I do feel like for some of you cancers, this heartbreak, it started off with the fact that you're healing from heartbreak that you caused someone else. So some of you cancers might be getting the karma that you deserve. What you put out, you get back. Right? So for some of you cancers, y'all wanted to be out here celebrating, right? You wanted to celebrate with other people, right? So maybe the karmic justice that God felt was uh deemed necessary. You want to celebrate? I'll let you celebrate with this motherfucker forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever. So you can hold on to that. Because you're going to have to hold on to it forever. Because you can't just walk away from them. I mean, you can't just walk away from the baby. But you can go to jail, too. All that partying, all that celebrating resulted in something that you're going to hold on to 
forever. And you can try to hold back. You can try to be stingy. But there will be balance. Regardless if you want, if you want to or not. You can't just bring a baby into this world. And don't think that there won't be judgment. You can walk away if you want to. Laugh now. Cry later. Because once someone is pregnant. You cannot tell someone what to do with their body. If this person goes forward and has this baby. There will be balance. And maybe this was karmic justice for everything that you did. That's where you wanted to be. God said, so be it. Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. But cancer is just like, man. <laughs> I see cancer like right now. They are just praying on a lucky star. They're just like, how could I have been such a fool? And I kind of see them with their knapsack. Almost like you see that lily in their hand like that is like a flower of inspiration and you see the, the petals dropping. It's like my flower is my inspiration is dying like, you know, and it's like they're almost packing up and I want to say trying to move away. And they're wishing on the lucky star that some 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 better outcome will come of this. But I definitely feel like. And then they got that little wisdom snake wrapped around there. And you see their companion is looking at him like, where the fuck are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? With your, where are you going? Where are you going? Look. He done threw his crown down on the floor. Like, I don't even want this shit no more. Uh-uh. No, no. I'm good. I'm good. And then if you look at this, this is a cup too on the floor. So whatever emotions that they had in connection to this companion, they don't care about it no more. They're leaving. They're being guided by their intuition. And they're following this lucky star that's telling me, I need to get the fuck out of here because I am losing. <laughs> I am losing. This flower is dying here. Like they're trying to escape because cancer feels like this is a battle. They just like cancer just took up arms. Do you see what I'm saying? Cancer took up arms and they see a situation coming for them that is going to be an extreme conflict. And Cancer says, you know what, before these motherfuckers even pick up these goddamn wands and I got to beat their ass for real, let me beat them to it. So Cancer done picked up their arms before they Because <laughs> they knew I was being guided by fucking temptation and I done got bit in the ass and me not being able to control my temptations and my desires. And there's some level of fucking toxic addiction that cancer deals with that got them locked up and chained and bound to the situation with this person that they got this baby with that they are not passionate about. Do you understand? And cancer cannot see the forest from the fucking hills, bitch. They, for whatever reason, they cannot really see their way out of this situation. Okay? They see storms. They see a lot. <laughs> they see a lot of storms ahead. And they're trying to get their mental bearings together to figure out how to fuck to deal with this situation. And I feel like right now, if anyone walks up on cancers and says anything to them while they're in this energy... While they're in this energy right here, this man done picked up arms. They're dealing with low vibrational, sh uh, 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 you know, they're, they're dealing with some low vibrational battles here. And they're turning their back on the truth because they can't see the truth. This is what they need to see. You're dealing, this is why you, you keep dealing with these conflicts because you keep giving into temptation because it feel good at the time and because it felt good at the time. Something that felt good at the time just resulted in kids. And you heartbroken about this shit because you don't love this person. And the person that you love don't love you. But this is karmic justice, y'all. All of this playing around. All that playing around. I just, I, I just hope it was worth it because now you with somebody that both of y'all have got it. It's a standoff. All right, so let's break this down. Divine masculine, divine feminine. I know that that was long enough, bro. Lord, have mercy. Cancer, 
Lord, what the heck did you get yourself into, baby? Lord, have mercy. Excuse me, let me close this door. Lord, what would you get yourself into, Cancer? All right. So what are we going to do? Divine Masculine first? Let's do Divine Masculine. All right. So, whew. Let me use another deck, y'all. Dear Lord, please give me guidance in regards to the Divine Masculines. So talk my cancer women that are dealing with their Divine Masculine. All right. Please give my cancer women that are dealing with their Divine Masculine. Please give me the overall energy for Divine Masculine for Cancer. Thank you. For the month of March, please give me some additional guidance for this the overall energy. They go that third party shit again, bruh. Eight of Wands. There's a lot of communication going on. Alright? Three of Swords. They go the devil again. And the oh, my God. My God. My God. Come on, bruh. Eight of Wands. Three of Swords. Eight of Swords. <laughs> the devil in reverse. In the Lord have mercy. G. Sus. Jesus Louisa. Okay. Listen. So in regards to the cancer ladies that are dealing with their divine feminine, all right? I mean, <laughs> Lord, my brain, my brain, y'all, forgive me, forgive me, Jesus. Hold on, I can, uh-uh, wait, mm-mm, hold on, no, mm-mm. I need some calming energy right now. Where's my Palo Santo? Because, Lord, y'all about to stress me out. Y'all cancer, y'all about to stress me the fuck out. Lord, all this third party in this, what in the dear world is going on? Cancer! Lord, have mercy. Okay, listen. There's been a lot of back and forth communication, okay? And y'all ladies be careful because this person that is y'all divine masculine, I don't know if there's a lot of cross watchers that are watching in the cancer man that they're dealing with is their divine masculine. It doesn't matter, okay? Either you are a cross watcher and the cancer man that you're dealing with is your divine masculine or your cancer woman and the man that you're dealing with is your divine masculine. This is about the men that is going on in your life. There's a lot of passionate communication going back and forth. You guys could be sending text messages. You guys might have bumped into each other, seen someone, you know, um, on someone's live or something. Like someone that you didn't know. Um, that you know y'all knew uh, mutual friends and like maybe y'all were on somebody's live and then you see your ex or you know you see this divine masculine or whoever the hell it is down there in the comments and, and, and they all like well you know this person yeah I know this person oh, no, no. and y'all could have reconnected that way you know on Instagram Snapchat Twitter there's a lot of back and forth passionate communication that's been going on but at the same time listen you cannot get over the fact that this person broke your heart in the past. And that this person is a cheater. Big time. And you're still suffering from heartbreak from this person. Do you understand, ladies? Y'all are still suffering heartbreak from this person. But for some reason, you feel bound to this person. You see the devil lurking around with his bitch ass over there in the corner. There is a toxic just hold on you in regards to this person. I feel like there's a sexual addiction because you have the devil right next to feeling like you are trapped and bound in this situation. You cannot get over the things that were said, the things that were done. Um, maybe things that you could have did differently. Maybe things could have been better. Not understand the whole time. This whole situation is a low vibrational toxic ass fucking relationship. It, listen. He right there and he right there. In the flesh. In the flames honey. And he wants to drag your flesh in the flames honey. He wants you to drag you right down there. And being controlled. Listen. What he got in his hand? A big ass penis. Okay. So, ladies, I feel like you are being controlled in a situation because someone got a big-ass 
penis. And can listen. When we talk about fellatios, fellatios, oh honey, he must have made the name up, honey. He feel like he sucked the soul right out your back, bitch, the way he be down there licking and, and flipping and, and girl, this man is a sex maniac. And this nigga got you wrapped up, trapped up, and fucked up or fucked over, bitch. And you cannot, even though you know that this person, you know this person, no matter what they're saying in this communication, you know that there's somebody else. You know it. You know it. So for my ladies, if you are a cross watcher and you're dealing with this cancer man that is your divine masculine, you just seen the general energy going on is that he might still be in love with you, but he's in a situation with someone that he's currently dealing with. That he's in a standoff. They're not talking to each other. They're not dealing with each other because they don't want to have a heart to heart conversation about this baby. This nigga is a hoe. You know that. You know that. This knight of wands in reverse. This person just want to fuck. And that's the only thing that they... They are... As much as you're addicted to them sexually, they are addicted to you sexually. And as much as you are bound to them sexually, they are bound to you sexually. And they cannot get you out of their mind the same way you cannot get them out of your damn mind. It is a toxic addiction. You... It's like a... It's a negative... It's a negative soul tie addiction that is revolved around toxicity and sex. And for some of y'all, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I feel like y'all drink, y'all have a lot of sex, y'all have a good time. Y'all listen, when y'all together, y'all like this. You see what I'm saying? Y'all really be, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all be good, but this this person is a fucking cheater, bruh. This person always got you mixed up in some third-party shit. And you like, fuck that shit if another bitch gonna be coming to me, calling me, talking about I'm just coming to you as a woman. Bitch, I'll punch you in your mouth. Be coming to me about no hoe-ass nigga. Okay? Listen, ladies. Listen. All right? So, listen. I'm trying to tell you, man. A man is communicating with you because this person is as wrapped up and in, in bound and tied up and mixed up with you sexually as you are with them it's a sex addiction but this person you will never you will never be the one you will never be the one as long as the devil is looming around in this energy this person does not know how to commit this person has commitment issues do you understand in and out just to get his dick wet do you understand as soon as the fire sizzles out he's out and trying to find the next one and it looks like karma just caught up with his ass. Do you understand what I'm saying? The thing that was his worst nightmare is having a baby has now become his reality. And he's been doing nothing but dwelling and driving himself mentally crazy about this shit. Yeah. This person is unawakened. And they really need to be by themselves and seek solitude. But this person doesn't. This person carries a mask. This person is very fake. And they don't have any fear about abandoning people. Oh my gracious. They need healing. All right, so in regards to this divine masculine that you are with, this person is unawakened. This person is unawakened. And until they wake up and realize the why this karma is coming to them, because that karma came back around them. All this cheating, all this third party, wearing this mask and stuff like that, not knowing how to be alone. I feel like this divine masculine needs to be by himself and deal with his own demons. Do you feel me? This person needs to deal with their own demons and their own toxicities and their own addictions because this person is unawakened and does not see what they're doing. This person has been so busy and been wearing this mask so long. They do it without fear. They do it without fear of abandoning people, okay? They know that they're fake as shit. They know that they're fake as shit. And that's why they have no problem with getting up and walking away and abandoning people. As soon as someone realizes, oh, this motherfucker been fake with me this whole time, they say, oh, okay, no problem. Next. Without fear. Without fear. Without conscience. Without nothing. Without nothing. Because this person is hurting and it's something that this person is going inside with. They are rejecting healing. Okay? 
and they are not using their free will to change certain elements about them that is why that judgment card came in and it's like you don't want to change certain things about yourself you just want to keep wearing this mask you don't want to be alone and awaken and grow the fuck up so you ain't gotta be this fake motherfucker with people you don't have no fear about just abandoning people or hurting people because you don't want to heal yourself. That's fine. You don't want to use the free will to fix yourself. We'll fix it for you. And that's when the universe comes in. That is when the universe comes in. Let's find out what is the true issue that is going on deep inside with this divine masculine that cancers are dealing with. Do you understand what I'm saying? That the cancer ladies are dealing with or other cross watchers are dealing with. And their divine masculine is a cancer man. So let's find out what's going on with these men. If Abby you're dealing with a cancer and he's your divine masculine. Or you are a cancer woman and your man that you are dealing with is your divine masculine. Silence. Envious. What? I'm picking up this. This might be how the divine feminine disillusion. I feel like this is how the divine feminine is. Oh, uh, this is how, yeah, the female is feeling about this man, this divine masculine. Yeah, it's just all on lust. What is this? Hmm. All right, so. I feel like some of y'all ladies, y'all been silenced. Some of you ladies, y'all been silenced. This person, I feel like they really, I feel like either you, you ladies are silent with, I feel like the cross watchers, some of the cross watchers might be silent with this cancer man. Or some of the, the cancer women, they're silent with, which, with whichever man it is that they're dating. Because... There's a certain level of envy here. There's a certain level of envy. And I feel like it's because someone is not telling the truth. Someone is wearing a mask and you're not opening up and being open with me in the way that I need you to. So I can understand what's going on and where I fit in this equation. So someone has been silenced. So I feel like a lot of the ladies might have silence their divine masculine because it's like I feel envious I feel like they look at other people in, in, in other relationships and their situations and they're like why I, why my situation can't be like this why my situation can't be like this why do I feel like this person I've been dealing with is a fraud and is not telling me something but for some reason I can't walk away I can't walk away because you're, you're disillusioned you were disillusioned you know and I feel like People are finally waking up. Some of the, the, the ladies are waking up here. They're waking up. However, it's still very hard for them to walk away. But the fact that they feel envious at other people in their relationships. And they're dealing with somebody that, that is stressing their brain out. Do you see this? Is her, her brain is showing. It's stressing her brain out. You won't even talk to me so I can be able to think straight. I'm supposed to be happy in a relationship like that? No. You can't think. You can't think straight. You can't see what's going on. You're not a label. You mean you're not allowed to talk to tell this person how you feel. Just been completely silenced. This person has put up a mask, has, has walled you out, completely abandoned you emotionally. Completely abandoned you. And you're envious, but you can't walk away. But you're not a fool no more. You're not disillusioned. Like, I feel like you're waking up and you realize that that whole relationship was surrounded by lust. It was just a fucking, it was a fuck ship. It was your fuck buddy. That was it. That was it. And then once, like I said, once this person realizes that they've been found out, that they realize that this person's been wearing a mask all the time. And if this was all about just fucking someone just trying to fuck, they said, okay, all right, ta-ta. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Abandonment. Abandonment.
and they don't want that being projected in their life anymore. So this is the root. Okay, this is the root. So for my divine feminines or for my women that's been dealing with this divine masculine character, this man that y'all been in love with, yeah, this person silenced you out. This person silenced you out. And it's going to be you that's going to have to, it's you that's going to have to wake up and, and walk away. You're finding it hard to walk away because you're being, because this person knows the only thing they have to do is send you some communication. The only thing, they, only thing you got to do is send you some communication and you're going to be back on a dick. And they're going to get you wrapped back up in your brain again. They're going to get, listen, this person got your brain wrapped up. And this person know that shit. Okay? And when they silence you, it make you fight more, don't it? Because you want to find out what's going on. You're willing to do anything. To just to get this cancer to talk to you, right? <laughs> this cancer knows what they're doing. This person wears a mask. This person is very manipulative, you guys. This person is extremely fucking manipulative. Let's get some love guidance from Doreen Virtue. Please give the sign of cancer guidance for the divine masculine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please give the sign. Oop. Mm -mm, we ain't doing that. Trust. Honeymoon. Yeah. You need to have some trust in this situation. This was just a honeymoon stage. Like, you and this person that y'all were with, y'all were just going through a honeymoon stage. And you don't need, you never really knew this person. You need to, you need to be with somebody that has the same wants and the same beliefs as you. This person is a fucking whore. This person is a whore, and you know it. This is not your true love, bruh. Do you understand? This person that y'all are looking at, y'all keep calling this your divine masculine. Stop saying that. That's almost a smack in your true divine masculine's face. You need to trust this situation and let it unfold naturally. Do you understand? And for a lot of women, especially if you're not the one that they have this, this, this baby with, thank the Lord that that ain't you. Would, would you really want to... I wouldn't want this to be my life. I don't want to be with someone that's unawakened, that is a fucking cheater, is a whore. They got all these negative, toxic, low vibrational addictions and... You know what I'm saying? This person cannot control being tempted. It's like... And I said it before in the other cancer video. They're like, oh, someone come... Like, you, I'm offering you some pussy. Pussy? Can I have some pussy? Like, for real. And it's a shame because it's like... You don't know what that pussy got on it. You don't know what that pussy got in it. You can't just take any pussy that offers itself to you. But this motherfucker's like, oh, shit, I love pussy. Just come... come give it to me. And you see what it got them into. So if you're a female and if you're dealing with this man and this is your divine masculine, trust. Trust the situation. And know that this was a honeymoon stage. This person was showing you the best of what they had. Because as soon as the fire stopped sizzling, they was on to the next. This was a honeymoon stage. But you don't, you, it's something, you are falling for the mask. It's a mask, honey. It's a fucking mask. Don't fall for the mask. Okay? Y'all remember the movie The Mask with Jim Carrey? He would put the mask on even though his face was green and all that shit. That nigga was smoking. Remember? He was smoking, bitch. He had all the nice threads on and everything. But when he took that mask off, he was just a regular ass accountant, little dry ass anime weirdo. You know what I'm mean? <laughs> Not saying ain't nothing wrong with anime. I like anime. But you know, y'all y'all get what I'm saying. Bruh. The honeymoon is over, bitch. The mask is off. Okay? Where fit your fuck it mask off? You did not know this person. You know who he wanted you to see. For him to get what he wanted. You underdig me? You feel me? This person knew from the beginning that you and him did not have the same wants, needs, or values. You wanted a relationship. This person just wants some pussy. 
Lust, honey. Lust. And I feel like this person, when they're stressed and they know that they need to go through the healing process and they don't want to go through, they'll just go fuck anything. And when I say anything, I mean anything. They'll go fuck anything just to take their mind off of this shit. And you were disillusioned by this. You thought that this was real love. You thought that this was true love. You was disillusioned by this. You want to try, you want to try and see it for what it was. You feel what I'm saying? You feel me? Oh, okay. It needs a three different decks, beloved. Okay? I've used several different decks. So, you guys got to, like, seriously, if you want to continue to deal with this cancer or this divine masculine, whoever this divine masculine is to you, if you're going to accept this energy, don't sit there and complain about, oh, this person cheated on me, this person. You know this motherfucker's a hoe. You know it. So either you're going to continue to continue and communicate with this person when you know this person. The only thing this person want to do is fuck. Only thing this person want to do is fuck and you're going to get fucked. And then when you sitting back feeling like this, rocking your brain. I don't know what I, I don't I don't I don't let me give you some additional guidance and let me let, actually let me give you some angel guidance and then I'm gonna give you one more spread out the door for my ladies and then we're gonna get into the divine um feminine for my men that are dealing with their divine feminine and then we're going to get into the singles reading and then we up out of here so i told y'all this is going to be a long video so if y'all are on a premiere um if y'all heard what y'all needed to hear and if, um so far you know especially if you're not a man you know unless you want to hear about how the cancer man is is viewing maybe viewing you as the divine feminine go ahead and stick around and if you're single yeah make sure you stick around towards the end Hello from heaven and spiritual understanding. All right. So, and this is another card outdoors. All right. So, I'm, I feel like someone is having a lack of spiritual understanding. And spirit is literally saying, hello. I need you to look outside the box here, sweetie. You feel me? There's a lack of spiritual understanding. There's lack of spiritual growth here. You're going through this situation for a reason. God is trying to teach you something. God is trying to show you something. God is trying to show you that you are better than what you are currently attracting. You need to raise your vibration. Because even if you walk away from this person, you're going to attract the same shit in a different toilet. If you don't change your fucking vibration and get some understanding i am bringing you historic information and symbols helping you understanding the spiritual truths this was a lesson this was a lesson hello from heaven your loved ones in heaven are doing fine let the worries go and feel their love and blessing you have angels your guardian angels that have been looking over you a lot of you might have a grandma or auntie that y'all really close with that damn near raised you i feel like some of y'all got an auntie that damn near raised you you are more close to your aunt than, than you was with your own mama and when this person passed away or broke you or when your grandmama passed away or broke you or when your grandfather passed away or broke you because you were more close with them, you know, than possibly than you were with your biological parent. And this person has been watching you go through this shit. And they've been trying to uplift you. And they've been trying to show you the messages. They've been trying to show you the path. And they want you to open up your eyes and look outside the box of what this whole situation has been trying to show you. Love yourself. Vibrate higher. You are an angel. You are a blessing. You are a flower ready for blooming. You have so much in this world that this world has to offer. You have to decide that you're better than this. You're better than this. You got the devil looming around all of your cards. This what you want? This what you want to keep attracting? Leave the trash to the rats, honey. Leave the trash to the rats. Vibrate higher. Vibrate higher. Look, go outside. Get some fresh air. Connect with nature. Relive 
relieve stress and gain new creative ideas you need to get out you need to think outside the box think outside of this situation the world has more you think that this is it you think after this situation that your world is over there's nothing more that the world has to offer you than this don't don't be don't listen love yourself vibrate higher think more of yourself do you hear what I'm saying? You have to understand that this was a spiritual lesson for growth. For you to have some spiritual understanding. When you have people watching over you that love you and want you to truly listen. You are single and successful on your fucking own. Once you understand that and get that. The true love that you've been looking for. That last pinnacle. Because you over, you got nine of pinnacles, baby. You good. You good. You don't need that. You do not need that. You fu They will take every fucking last thing from you. Down to the beauty on your face. The moisturizer in your hair. Do you hear me? The marrow in your bones. This motherfucker want it all. He want it all. And he know how to control you with this, boo. Don't be a fool. Wake up. You were good on your own. By your fucking self. It's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor and stop letting people take advantage of you people that are not fucking worthy. You hear me, princess? Do you hear me, empress? You a queen. You are empress. Don't let no nigga come and take advantage of you. Hello from heaven. You were good and you were solid by your fucking self. All right, ladies? That is the way we going to leave this shit off because y'all stronger than this. Y'all are stronger than this. Y'all are stronger than this. Don't let nobody turn you to no ice queen, have you out here being disillusioned and following fuckery. No, I need you to be smarter. Use your brain. Use your heart. Use your mind. And know that your ancestors and that your spiritual guys, they are watching over you and they are guiding you and that you are leading you. They just want you to go outside. There are other things outside of this situation. Once you open up your heart and your mind to it, everything that you want will come to you. And you will literally be able to live in a lap of luxury. Everything that your heart ever desired. Alright? So, thank you guys so much for that. I'm about to get into the Divine Feminine. We're going to find out what's going on with our Divine Masculines. In the cancer sign and see what they've been feeling, what's been going on in regards to their divine feminine. Because, you know, men, they need guidance too. They be needing to find out what's going on and how to navigate certain things with the women that they're dealing with. So, and I've been getting a lot of communication from the men in my little soul group. So, shout out to all of you guys, all my men. If y'all in the chat, let me see them thumbs up. Because if you cute, let me see you. what you look like. What you, okay, I'm sorry. There be some fine dudes online trying to be like, what, you, what they look like? Be searching. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. So, let's get it. Alright, so let's find out what's going on for our men, for our cancer men. Please give our cancer men guidance in regards to their divine, their divine feminine. Please give me guidance in regards to divine feminine energy for cancer. Please let our men know. Our cancer men know what is going on with their divine feminine. And also, if you are a woman that is dealing with the cancer man, and you want to know how um, your cancer man is possibly feeling about you, this may be the, vis the video for you. Lack of judgment. Judgment in reverse. Hmm. Give me some guidance in regards to the Divine Feminine. Alright. So judgment in reverse. I don't feel like there's going to be forgiveness in this situation. The Two of Cups. Soulmates. King of Pentacles. Alright. Four of Wands. There was a divorce. And the eight of childless. This person's not coming back. So in regards to their divine feminine, these cancer men, 
they feel like They feel like even though if they want forgiveness, they feel like the person that they love, their divine feminine, will never forgive them. But they love them. They love them very much. And they're very, very passionate about this woman. They love this woman with everything. I feel like sexually, no one can love them. I feel like when Cancer has sex with this divine feminine of theirs it makes their toes curl it makes their hair stand up on their back and they're in a place where they feel like this woman will never forgive me this woman will never forgive me for what I've done to destroy our family because if you look at this card this judgment card you see it's a family all tied together and everything like that like everyone was a unit there was an ending. There was a divorce. There was an ending to a family. And I feel like since that has happened, Cancer is in the King of Pentacles energy right now. They're a lot stronger. They're a lot more successful. They're a lot more stable than what they were before. You know? They know how to take care of their family. They know how to give. They know how to receive and just be a provider that they weren't being when they were together their divine feminine feels like they got fucked in this situation not only did they get fucked they got fucked over it could have been also a situation when um y'all left it could have been a nasty breakup it could have been a nasty breakup and Whatever happened, I, I just see that this woman, she completely rejected you. When she walked away, look at her face and how she walked away from you. She don't want you. She will never want you again. She will never look at you the same again. This person's life has went in a new direction. There is nothing left there for this person to return to. Only thing you have left is memories. And this is how the Divine Masculine, the Cancer, is viewing his Divine Feminine. This woman has moved on. She will never forgive him, even though he loves her with everything in his heart. Everything. He's got himself together, but she'll never allow him back into her life for her to see the change. She's gone in a whole completely new direction. Please give me the overall energy as to... Divine Feminine for the Cancer Man. What is the overall energy that we can give Cancer Men in regards to this relationship with this Divine Feminine? What guidance can we give them in regards to the energy regarding this woman that they see as their Divine Feminine that they're in love with? The door to value. And a woman opening her heart. Yeah, you didn't value her heart. Yeah, lack of victory. You didn't value this person's heart when she gave it to you. To my cancer man, you didn't you didn't value this woman's heart when she gave it to you. And you thought that you would ever be victorious in this situation. You always thought that this woman would give her heart to you. And that you will always see victory in this situation you didn't value a heart then it's no point of thinking that you're going to be victorious now this person her heart is still thriving and it still pumps it's just not for you and that's why you don't feel the victory here you know i feel like cancer will almost feel like if i didn't value her heart and if she was just not loving nobody period then I would feel a little bit okay about this situation, but not the fact that she's still able to love and she's out here still giving her heart to people is just not to me. I feel like that fuck cancer. I mean, that, that um, cancer don't like that. Cancer don't like that. And I feel like the cancer man needs to value himself a little bit more. Because if you really did love yourself, if you value yourself, if someone was this generous offering their heart to you like that, and you to throw it away. 
And for you to not to see the value in that, you ain't see the value in yourself. You must didn't think that you was worthy of something that beautiful. Something this beautiful? That Cancer man didn't feel like he was worthy of something that be, be, um, that beautiful. And that's why cancer, the Cancer men need to work on their daughter value. You can't obtain something valuable if you don't feel that you're worthy of something that valuable. You know? When it walks away, now you realize how valuable it is. Now you realize how important it is. That's not the way the love goes. You understand what I'm saying, y'all? Y'all feel me? Alright. So... Let's get some additional guidance in regards to this. Please give me some additional guidance for Divine Feminine for Cancer. Thank you so much. Please clarify this spread. Yep, they go to King of Pentacles again. King of Pentacles, the Sunshine Illumination. Alright. I got a soulmate card again. I got three of cups. Mm, 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 mm. The fuck with this three of cups, bro. Oh god, I don't know what the hell is up with y'all can't. I have a question. Cause y'all are cancers in the chat. What is it with cancers where they feel like they have to have multiple people for them to feel um, value, for them to feel successful, for them to feel fulfilled? Because that is like the ongoing story. Like ever since I started doing this, it's like cancers feel like they have to have multiple open opportunities, multiple doorknobs that they can turn for them to feel successful, for them to feel happy. Not realizing that the fact that you have to have all of these options and all of these decisions is what is leading to your unhappiness. That is what's keeping you crazy. Like, that's what's driving you crazy. Not being able to focus and dedicate yourself to one thing. It destroys everything. So, alright. So, listen. This is what we got here. We got the King of Pentacles, the Sun card. We got the Two of Cups. We got the Ace of Wands. We got the Six of, I mean, the Ace of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the, de <laughs> the Death card, the Three of Cups, and then we also had the Five of Swords, Lord G. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just got to take a second. I got to take a second. Okay, so listen. This is what it is. This man has got himself together financially now. And he's happy. Bravo. Bravo. He's got himself together now financially. And he's happy. Okay? And... See, because I, I, I should be reading this in regards to the ladies. But I just, I just, <laughs> oof. Okay, so listen, the the initial message that it just popped into my head when I seen this, I, I just have to tell y'all, and then I'll read it the way I should be reading it. This man has got himself together financially, and he's happy, and the light has been illuminated on him that the reason why he's been chasing these women around and the reason why he has to have all of these multiple different options is because he feels like it makes him feel financially stable if he always has a door to open, if he ever falls on a rough time and need help or something like that. Just, you know, more opportunities, the more resources that you have. So, like, this man felt powerful having all of these resources. But now that they got their self together, and, I mean, this man is sporting leather back in those days. So, you know, like, you have to, I mean, shit, still now today, like, you gotta, you gotta have some money you could afford leather or suede pants. Actually, he has on suede pants and leather boots. And he has on, like, a fur little shawl. So, he got coin. He got coin. Okay? 
So the cancer man got coin now, and he's happy, and there's been a lot of illumination, and he's realizing if he would have just came to the table with that himself, that him and his true divine feminine could still be together right now. But that was a truth that they didn't see. They didn't see that, and I feel like it had to take for cancer to lose his divine feminine. Do you understand what I'm saying? And for her to sell off for freedom and for new beginnings, for him to understand that rough lesson. Do you understand? That was a mental lesson that he had to overcome. You see that rough, rugged and snowy and icy terrain? That was a hard pill for him to swallow. He had to get himself. You can't run around, you know, like that old pimp mentality and shit like that. Like they got all these bitches, but it's like, okay, you got all these pretty bitches, but it's these bitches paying your bills. Like that's the type of shit. That's the type of shit. Okay. And this woman moved away and this woman moved away. Not only did she move away, she moved away and she has got it help. There's somebody else in her energy right now that is helping her day by day mentally get further and further and further away from this cancer man. Okay, and this cancer man, um, I want to say he's almost kept himself, um, like purposely. Like you could have took the blindfold off. You could have seen the things that were keeping you trapped and bound, and that had you burdened, where you were not able to make a move and you weren't able to make a decision and see the things that you need to see so that you could be the person that you needed to be. But at the end of the day, you didn't because this person, this person right here, they try to make it seem like, oh, woe is me. Like I wasn't able to think straight. I wasn't able to see what I needed to see. I really didn't see all that happening. You really felt that way. I didn't see that happening. Yes, they did. They weren't as bounded and tied up as they try to make it seem like they were. It's bullshit. You see what I'm saying? It's mental trickery. It's mental trickery. They could have did more. They weren't really as trapped and bounded to those toxic behaviors and addictions as they lead you on to believe. They want you to believe that they didn't see what they were doing. That they didn't know how they were hurting you. They knew how they were hurting you. They knew how they were hurting their divine feminine. And right now, their divine feminine has moved on. And not only has she moved on, she's fallen in love with the person that has been helping her throughout this process. And she's mentally sure that the person is, that's in her energy right now is someone that is for keeps. That's for the long haul. And she feels like, honestly, she didn't see it before. She felt trapped and she felt bounded to this energy with this cancer man. She felt trapped and she felt bounded to this en energy. But at the end of the day, what she knows now is she wasn't as controlled by it as she thought it was. Now she can wiggle away. Not only that, but she actually has a sword behind her back that can help her cut out of being bound to the situation with this cancer so that she can soar free. And take this guy down. You see that blindfold. That blindfold ain't, ain't wrapped around her head no more. She can see. That she can move forward. And that she can fly. There had to have been an ending. There had to be an ending to all of this. All of this bullshit bruh. Like I told you. It don't matter. Either you gonna. With your free will. Stop this behavior. Or to celebrate with all these two or three different bitches. Or. The universe will put an ending for it for you. This is the death card. The death, the ending of all this celebration, this frolic, and this ha having all of these two or three, four or five partners, an ending had to be, had to come. An ending had to come because this person that y'all are willing to deal with, that y'all are dealing with that didn't have this value that didn't value your heart that didn't understand the luxury you see how beautiful this you see how big listen do you see her fabrics do you see her makeup you see her wig bitch that ain't no amazon wig bitch that's like girl he didn't know the quality of what he had in front of him and this person 
just to continue doing this. Just to continue doing this. You know, having a cake and eating it too. Celebrating with all these different people. This person was willing to tell you anything and everything. Do anything and everything to manipulate you to get one hand up to win at all costs. This was not a relationship that you were going to win the battle. You were not going to win the battle in this situation with this person. Do you understand? You are not going to win the battle with this person. So the cancer man is right in thinking, no, 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 you will not be forgiven. I understand that you still love me. I understand that you're the king of pentacles now and you got your money together. But bitch, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You didn't want me then. You didn't want me then. You was rejecting me. I mirrored your energy. I rejected you. I rejected you then. I'm rejecting you now. I don't want you. Our relationship is over. It's over. It's over. It is over. And that is how this cancer man is viewing the divine feminine. He didn't value her heart before. He didn't value her heart before. And he will not be victorious this time around. There will be no victory this time around. There will be no fucking victory this time around. There will be no forgiveness. For your lack of judgment. And you not valuing this family. And you not taking the commitment seriously. There will be no forgiveness. None. 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 The gods say no. The gods say we do not bless this. We are not giving the okay. For this to continue on. No. Mm -mm. Don't matter if you got money. I'm glad that money make you happy. That shit didn't make the Divine Feminine happy. What made the Divine Feminine happy is Divine Masculine truly loving her. Truly loving her. Giving her mental clarity. You know? Yeah, y'all are soulmates, but it, co it comes with lies. It comes with deceit. It comes with trickery. It comes with mental manipulation. It comes with people being cold. It comes with people, people being distant. It comes with people being cut. And why? Because I want to know the truth. This is someone who had to soar around and look for the truth. In the darkness. In the darkest night. Had to soar and look for truth. For someone that's supposed to be their soulmate. No. I'm happy that you found happiness now. Why? Because you got money. I'm glad. I hope that it makes you as happy as it can be. Because Divine Feminine ain't coming back. They found somebody else that they're giving their love to. The same person that helped them realize their self-worth. There was some man that came around and made her realize her self-worth. And made her see why are you... You are intentionally being blind to this. You can wiggle your way out of this. You are not as trapped and bounded to this as you think that you are. You... Are better than this. This person showed her that she is better than this. And he aided her to fuck up out of that mental bullshit. You're better than this. Put an end into that shit. Either or, you're going to be cheating with multiple other bitches. You're going to keep fighting all these bitches. End it. End it. You're not going to win this battle. This man will tell you anything. In order for him to have his cake and eat it too. In this shit. You're not going to win. That's 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 it. But eat, but eat, but eat. That's it. That's all folks. That's how this divine feminine feels. That's how. That's what the divine fem. That's what. I'm sorry. That's what the divine feminine feels. That is what the cancer man knows. She's not coming back to me. I fucked up. I got money now and shit, but I don't even think that she give a fuck about that. It was about if I value her heart. Do I value her heart? Hmm. Trust. You do not want to express no romantic feelings with this person that wants to re reconcile with you. Keep an open mind and be out there and be playful. Be out there and be playful, Divine Feminist. And really get to know people. Really get to know people. I feel like the Divine Feminine feels like you were tricked, you were bamboozled. Like I, like you said in the other spread, that this person was wearing a mask. 
this person was marrying a mask and you really didn't know this person as well as you thought that you knew them. And you feel like this person is like playing around too much. You feel like this person played too much. All right. So you are trusting your instincts, Divine Feminine. You don't have any more romantic feelings or there's no more of a romantic connection with the situation. And you're trusting your feelings. You're trusting the feelings that you don't have. And it's like, I don't feel anything for you now. I'm not going to open up that door. The Divine Feminine moved on. They are trusting their heart, their mind, and their body saying, I lost touch with this. I don't resonate with this no more. I don't have any emo. There's no more emotional feelings that resides here. So I need to trust that. Like, why try to force reconnecting and reconciling with you when I know you ain't shit? I know you ain't shit. You are the same motherfucker that you showed me from the beginning. When someone showed you who they are, believe them the first time, okay? Keep an open mind and get out there and play and have a good time and enjoy yourself, Divine Feminine. Keep an open mind about love. Okay? Trust your intuition. Trust your guidance. If you don't have no um, romantic feelings with this person, what the fuck is the point of over oh, Look, someone from your past is returning to your life. Blocks? I don't think so. I'm keeping an open mind about other things. Okay? I don't have time to keep playing with this shit. Does this person just want to come and play? Do you see what I'm saying? I'd rather play around with other things. I'd rather play around with something new. I like new toys. Do you understand what I'm saying? I like new toys. And I want to be with someone that I really get to take a long time to really get to know because... Like I said, this divine feminine feels tricked. She feels bamboozled. She feel like this person wore a mask the majority time in their relationship and they really didn't know this person. And they not willing to play like that no more. They willing to keep an open mind in regards to love and life. But, you know, they're not, they're not willing to play that game no more. It says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to... Um, and fun to shine out. And I do feel like the Divine Feminine, they have found a lot of, they have found that rejuvenation. They have found that inner child again. You know why? Because this person is teaching them how to love again. This is a swords card. What's she doing with a cup in her hand? Because she's sitting there, she got her heart back. You know? This person is showing her something that I don't think she's ever even knew before that she ever felt before and clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now because it's coming very soon i honestly feel like for the divine feminines they've been they've been keeping an open mind and they've been being playful with the people that really are showing them that they are worthy and deserve their time but they're not doing what they did last time and not taking their time to get to know this person. They're really taking the time to get to know this person. They know they're not reconciling with this idiot because they don't have any more romantic feelings with them. And they're trusting and they're being guided by their intuition. They're like, no, for what? For what? For when? For why? For who? I'm not doing it for nobody. No. Please give the divine feminine guidance, additional guidance and love for the month of March. Thank you so much. This video about to be two hours long. But shoot, y'all listen. Y'all my specials. Shoot, y'all y'all be showing up and showing out. I will do this for y'all. My Cancers and my Libras, y'all always in my Leos. Psh, what? Psh, and my Taurus. Y'all be showing the fuck up. Karmic partner. The summer. You met this karmic partner last summer. Surrender. You met this karmic partner last summer and you regret that shit because you surrendered yourself to this person's low vibrations and you got caught up in this person's toxic ass cycles. Come on, father! In this spring, a lot is changing and the answer is yes, bitch. I don't know what you been asking. What you been asking the universe, girl? Divine Feminine, what you been asking? Listen, you don't finally use your intuition, Divine Feminine, okay? This is a karmic partner. So that this cancer man that you've been dealing with, okay? And this cancer man 
this divine feminine that you've been dealing with this is how she looks at you so all of this that i've been reading for the cancer men this is how the woman that you're dealing with is viewing this situation and this is how you are viewing this situation this is how you feel that she feels about you so this is how you feel that she feels about you and this is where her mind is at so you can know how to deal with your divine feminine okay she looks at you like this was a karmic partner. You were a karmic partner. You were merely here to teach her a lesson that she met you last summer. She wished that you would have, she'd have never met you. Because she surrendered herself to your low vibrations. And you brought down her vibrations. And she hold, she surrendered to herself to you, mind, body, and soul. She surrendered. She gave it all to you. But you were not on the same vibration as her because you were too busy spreading your vibrations all over the damn world. Okay? She feels like that this is a cycle. This is a cycle. This is a cycle. Again, this is a cycle because y'all probably done been through this about four or five times. And she don't want to be in it no more. She do not want no more growth. No more elevation. And by the springtime, I guarantee you that shit going to be over. And if you want to know, if you want to know if it's going to show that all of this shit is going to be wiped out of her energy for good, the answer is yes. Because she wish she never met you last goddamn summer. She don't know why she surrendered herself. As soon as she realized that this was a low vibration goddamn situation right now and all of this shit was based off of less. In sex, and if you had somebody else that you were dealing with, she should have walked the fuck away from the beginning. But she surrendered herself, and she got caught up in this goddamn. She got caught up in this shit, and she want to know, can she get over you by the springtime? Because next summer she ain't dealing with this. And God told her, "Yes, I got you." But I tell you, I got you. Death becomes her. She is riding through like the phoenix. Burning everything down in sight. Killing everything in sight. Even if she got to get rid of herself. Or her old bad ways. She's killing it off. And she is rising like the goddamn phoenix. She said honey. Death to this situation. I'm tired of these cycles. These cycles will not have a part of my life anymore. And come this spring. Oh honey. That toxicity will be gone. Will be gone. Escapism. Escapist escapist this lady is trying to escape she has silenced herself from this man all right all right there might be a lack of distance because i feel like to where so there was some distance i feel like maybe you guys might have seen each other recently she's no longer misguided and she took her power back and i want to say even if she has seen you guys she don't feel like there needs to be a distance any, anymore. She knows how to escape the situation and keep you on mute. Regardless if there's a distance between you or not. She's no longer misguided in allowing you to have that power over her no more. You understand me, Cancer? This woman that y'all are dealing with, y'all divine feminine, she pulled that death card out. She pulled that death card out. She ain't even turned around to mourn. She ain't even turned around to mourn. Fuck that. She said, fuck you. And you right. You started out the thing saying she ain't going to forget. You right. She ain't going to forget. She don't give a fuck about your money neither. She don't give a fuck about how you look at her. Y'all soulmates and you happy now. She don't, give, she don't give a shit. She feel like she escaped. She escaped and got away. And finally got her mind together. She that that the situation is silenced from her mind. She hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. She escaped. She escaped this bullshit. You just gonna do the same shit with somebody else. Hear no evil. Hear hear no evil. Think no evil. Speak no evil. See no evil. None of that. She done got the fuck away. Right. She don't give a fuck if you dissing or not. She know how to still wall your ass out too. Okay? No more misguidedness. She done seen the light. Her, her light was to take back her power. And that's exactly what she did. So the answer is yes, honey. You will be a full power, full swing, 
full pussy, full power, full pink power ranger pussy mode. <laughs> Goddamn spring, bitch. You better know it. You better know it and you better show it. All right. So let's get real quick. Let me get one card for my ladies, for the divine feminines that are out here dealing with the divine, the cancers, the cancers, the cancers. To all the ladies dealing with the cancer. So for my cancer men that have been trying to figure out what's going on with these ladies, this is what's going on with the ladies that y'all been dealing with. This is how they feel. This is how they, this is what's going on. It says, beloved one and overcoming difficulties. So this lady that y'all have been dealing with cancer, she's been overcoming difficulties and she's been feeling the blessings from above. She felt like ever since that she's overcome this difficult situation with you and she's finally taking her power back that she feels like, you know, God has been opening up the doors and she's been soaring higher than the highest of high. We talking about Jimi Hendrix high, like she that high. Okay, she high, bitch. She is on a high that, <laughs> you know, I don't think she's ever felt freer. I don't think that this woman has ever felt freer. She says, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. This, her overcoming a situation with you helped her see herself for who she was and what she deserves. You understand what I'm saying? And she deserves something better. It says the worst is now behind you. And you are surmounting any previous challenge. So like I said, this woman is like the phoenix. Still I rise and I soar and I'm rebirthed again. She overcome these challenges and you're right. She has moved on, all right? She had to soar and elevate higher in order for her to get the mental, you know, clarity that she needed. And what she needed to do was move the fuck on and give her heart to somebody else. So let's get one more parting word and then we're going to go to singles. And after that, we up out because I know this is two hours. Oh, Lord Jesus. And if y'all stuck with me in the chat on this one, God bless you, G. God bless you. Drop nigga. If y'all was in the chat this whole time, watch this whole video with me from beginning to end. Y'all throw them thumbs up down there in the chat, bro. Please, please do that because I got, I, got I, I got a special gift for y'all. Y'all throw them thumbs up in the chat. And y'all hit me on, um, I want to see them thumbs up. And then I need to see y'all email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Let me verify them thumbs up and get that email. I got something for y'all, all right? So if y'all watch this whole video with me throughout the premiere, I fucks with y'all. All right, so listen. Overcoming difficulties, I am helping you. She's finally awoken. She's pouring out what is no longer serving her. She ain't drunk in love no more. She knows what deserves her emotions in her heart now. And it's like, you know what? This person don't deserve not a single drop, not a morsel. Not a morsel. I ain't going back to that. Nor will I ever go back to that. This motherfucker wasted wine for water. This person cheated on me with someone who wasn't even of my caliber, of my stature. Okay? You ain't getting drunk off no damn water, bitch. All right? So, I don't give a damn what you're thinking. If you're holding on to old emotions, the shit in the past, woulda, shoulda, coulda. I'm going in a completely new direction. I don't, I don't want it no more. So, I feel like the Divine Feminine knows that the cancer has been looking at her online. She don't care. Because the only thing you're going to do is go and look and see that what I'm not. <laughs> my ships are sailed in and I don't give a fuck about trying to balance shit with you anymore and I'm not going to let you juggle me around whatever bitches no more my ships have sailed in ever since I left you that was the best decision ever because you were never going to marry me and you wanted me to be in an untraditional relationship okay I don't do side bitches I don't do side bitches. You ain't about to make me no side bitch. Because you out there fucking with other bitches. And you come. No. You ain't about to make me no side bitch. And I damn sure ain't about to tolerate one. So that's why the cancer man feels that divine feminine will never forgive him. Because you're right. She won't. Alright. So let's get into 
singles boy oh boy oh boy has this not been a reading honey this has been a honey when i was uh, i'm talking about a reading you mean reading having to read someone down for filth like uh-uh now you ain't about to be keep getting away with this shit forever no you not whoever that woman was that was dealing with that cancer man said bitch you guessed it and you was motherfucking right <laughs> bitch you guessed it you right I'm not coming back to you you right I don't forgive you you was motherfucking right so let's see what's going on with our single 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 life do, 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 do. single 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 who's that sing that y'all life that cameo do 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 Hey y'all, I'm showing my age. Y'all let me stop. Is that cameo? Is that fucking cameo? Look y'all, let me shut the fuck up. Only thing I know is my father loves cameo and he loved Michael Jackson. And I y'all remember that uh old video bird up back in the day, young? I don't know how old I was. I was probably like six or seven or something when I first seen that video. And that old nasty man used to have them um red panties on on top. Why he used to have them old hard fucking panties? Like what was that? What was why he used to wear them old panties on top of his uh outfit like that for? What he was doing that for like that? Oh my goodness. Anyway, y'all, let's just jump jump into singles, y'all. <laughs> Enough of me talk about cameo, hey bro. That was one of them videos, that word up video, cause he had them little crotch panties on them, little red crotch panties. Ma, I could not watch that video. Anytime that video came on, I was like, uh-uh. Nope. You cannot see that. But, oop. Okay. I was about to say, Father, give me some guidance for the singles. It said to get out there and be playful and release your ex, y'all. Be playful. Release your ex. And as y'all can see, I'm going to do all of these a little bit different. I'm just going to go however I want to go. Playful, release your ex. Honeymoon. You deserve love. I really do feel like, okay, so I feel like some of you guys, the reason why true love and new love isn't coming into you is because you're still holding on to energy of your ex. And it was a lot of holding on. You deserve true love and true love is coming to you. Listen, you deserve true love and that arrow is being shot in that direction to my cancer singles. Do you understand? You have to go out, get, get out. Stop walling yourself in. Stop keeping yourself reserved and held back from people. Get out and enjoy life. Be playful. Do not wallow in this situation. Stop thinking about your ex. You are allowing this to manifest your fears into reality. You're thinking, I'm always going to be single. I ain't never going to find. You're not going to find nobody because you keep telling the universe that. Stop thinking about your ex. Let that shit go and get out there and get playful and get to know other people and experience other things. I feel like you guys might meet someone during the holiday season. All right. So whatever holiday is about to come up. Y'all know we just had daylight um, savings and stuff. A lot of holidays and shit is, you know, about to start popping off, y'all. So get y'all shit together. Y'all got a little bit of time before these holidays and stuff start running around and all these barbecues and shit. Y'all gonna meet somebody because you deserve love. Do you understand? And true love is coming quick. It's probably gonna come around the holiday time. Y'all got some time to get y'all shit together. Sing, sing, sing. Y'all got it. Y'all got it to do. Y'all got it to do. Spirit, please give me some additional guidance for my single cancers. Thank you. Please give them some additional guidance for the month of March. All right. Please give my single cancers guidance for the month of March. Thank you so much. You deserve love, baby. True love. Ooh! The night of chalices. Girl, didn't I tell you somebody was going to come busting in the door, waving in the 4-4? Four, four? Girl! Let me tell you something. Listen. Because what you put out, you get back. Okay? What you put out, you get back. And if you cleaned your karma, if you clean your karma... Even though, you know, God must have, he, I feel like, I feel like 
God might have hung his foot up some of y'all asses. However, I definitely feel like after y'all done dealt with the karma and dealt with the justice and the judgment of your actions, you understand? This is a judgment card. Alright? So y'all were already dealt y'all judgment. Y'all were already dealt y'all karma. And, you know, after dealing with all of that, you got new love coming into you. But you had to learn certain things. You had to learn certain things first. And you had to stop mourning. You had to stop mourning this old love. That's the death card in reverse. A lot of you guys are still sitting there worrying and crying over something that needed to end. That needed to end. And this is the temperance card. You need to still work on your strength and your balance. And also you need to find peace in the situation. Because you're leading yourself to a point where you're going to forever be hung up. Because you see that's the hangman gallows right there. So it's like you need to temper yourself. You need to find peace. You need to find patience. You understand? You need to find hope. You need to find inspiration. Because if you don't, you might have to be in a situation where you need to take yourself away from the, the, the world's mundaneness. And you need to see your world from the outside looking in. But you got to you gotta get over this. That tower came down for a reason and you got away. It wasn't nothing there. It was a false inside. Do you understand? It was a hard out of shell, but it was a false inside. And you were allowed to escape. You were allowed to get away. Because at the, uh, at the end of the day, you could have been like this. Because God is watching all. And God could have decided to destroy you and that other person that was in that tower, in that foundation. And all of y'all could have. He could have ended all of y'all. But he didn't. He spared you. As long as you learned the lesson that you needed to learn. These are the Sphinx from the chariot. Y'all are swimming to safety. And these Sphinx is about to carry you to your final destination of true happiness. A true love. Light. Prosperity and abundance. This foundation had to come down. It had to come down. And now you're at your new beginning. You're at your new beginning. But you had to change your environment as the empress. Her back is turned because she's so young. She's so young. She's just learning her powers of being a creator. One of the first things that she had to do, she had to clean up her environment. In order for her to soar. In order for her roots to grow. Do you see? Don't ever in your damn life allow any fucking body to get in your way. Of you being able to grow, you being able to create, and you being able to have a safe and a healthy and a happy, harmonious, fruitful environment for yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't ever, ever. In this situation that came down, I know you didn't see it coming, but you got the fuck away. You got away. And you had to eat some shit. Some of y'all had to eat some karma because, listen, this ain't this side of the car. It's this side of the car. So y'all had to eat some shit because it was a situation that you played a part in that you could have walked away from and that you didn't. And God gave you the chance because you had the free will to release yourself from a situation that was no longer serving you, but you didn't. So God came and said, enough. 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 True love will be offered for you. But you have to eat your karma first. You have to deal with your karma. If you put good out into the universe, then good will come to you. And good is coming to you. So for the singles, thank God for recognizing things that needed to be changed. Only thing God wants you to do is like, listen, I allowed you to escape. I had to come to you. I had to tap you on your ass a little bit. 
Yeah, I had to tap you on your ass a little bit. But I'm still sending you the love that you asked for. You just got to deal with your karma. And stop crying over something that I destroyed for a fucking reason. I done sent the sun out for you. For you to see the illumination. Do you see this lady dancing? Celebrate this ending. It was for a fucking reason. Stop mourning this death. It happened to teach you a lesson. Unless you would like to deal with more karma. It's up to you. Oh, because I'll come back down on your ass again. You understand what I'm saying? Stop mourning. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't let you, I don't let you get away. It could have been worse. Get over it. And illuminate, vibrate higher. That's why I put this illumination there. Ashes to ashes, dust to fucking dust. You gonna continue drinking, sorrowing over this shit? You gonna miss the one thing that you've been begging me for? Wake the fuck up before I come down on that ass again. I'm not gonna tell you one more damn time. Stop it. Or I can end. I could put, I could bring an end into this. What you want? Stop it. I need you to temper yourself. I need you to control your temptation. I need you to find some peace and refuge in the change that is in your life. I need you to find patience. I need you to be okay with that. All right. I know a lot of things happen abruptly a lot of things happen abruptly clearly we see this a lot of things happen abruptly but right after you get yourself together because i'm giving you the choice either you want to continue crying over shit that i said needed to stop are you gonna keep crying over this shit and not look at this tower and the fact that I let you get away as a blessing. You cannot temper yourself. You cannot control this beast and keep going back to shit that are not for you. You cannot find peace in this situation. Yeah, it was abrupt. Yeah, I know it was hard for everybody. Do you think this is God talking to you? Do you think that it was easy for me to see my child sit there and make a fucking fool of her or himself like this? It wasn't easy. I wanted to come and snatch both of y'all the fuck down. But I know better. Because I see and I know everything. But I said, you know what? I believe I have faith in my baby. I'm going to pull a little bit of my spiritual wisdom and guidance into his or her cup. And I'm going to turn my back. And I am going to have the faith in them. That they are going to get their self together. They are going to see this abrupt change and this ending as a blessing. If they want to continue to be hung up on this situation. Then I can hang them up on a hangman gallow. And they can stay up there for an eternity for all I give a fuck. You have free will. Recognize that you got away with your life. Recognize that you got away and a guy tore down that foundation. You didn't see it coming. But guess what? The devil did. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this to you anymore. Y'all seen the devil was all through y'all damn reading, right? Y'all seen it. God seen all of this shit that's been going on. God was about to take both of y'all ass out. God said you were my children. I put you on this earth and I'll take you out of this shit. Not in a literal sense. Not saying like God's gone. But I put you here to learn lessons and to learn your purpose. If you want to sit around here and you want to play around and you want to do all this dumb ass shit. Then okay. You, you want to suffer. I can make you suffer. Or you want to get yourself together. You got away. There's new beginnings. Solid new beginnings. Where you could really grow. 
where you could really shine. You could really live in your true purpose. For my cancer females, y'all are fucking empress, and a lot of y'all are young, and y'all still got a lot to. Y'all have a lot more room to grow, and you're soaring. Don't ever in your fucking life let any fucking body get in your way of your growth. Don't hold on to. You were holding yourself back, and you were mourning bullshit. This happened for a divine purpose, for you to know your divine purpose, for you to gain spiritual wisdom. For my cancer, males and females and true love is coming to you. But you got to face your karma. You got to clean the slate. You got to clean the slate. You got to decide if I'm going to get myself balanced or, if I'm, or, or am I going to let the Lord hang, hang my ass up. Because I ain't listening. Okay? Y'all feeling me? Please give me some direct spiritual guidance for my singles. For my single cancers. Thank you so much. Compassion. Career transition. Angel therapy. You know what to do with courage. Alright. So like I said, I, I believe that a lot of you cancers, um, y'all know that y'all chase money. Y'all know y'all love money. I really do feel like a lot of y'all, y'all held on to a situation where y'all stayed in a situation that you didn't really want to be. And I don't even know how you got in a situation because of money. The only thing you really had to do was to change your career and have a little bit of courage. And you could and you could have completely avoided all of that shit. Lack of compassion. Soften your heart with respect to the situation. And you and all um and you and all of the people Lord Jesus, I can't read. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. All right. So you need to be a little bit more compassionate. I feel like a lot of y'all, I mean a lot of I mean, y'all can't say y'all been through some shit. Y'all been through some shit. And I really do feel like if you put your focus a little bit more on your career and what benefits you right now, have a little bit more compassion. I feel like I feel you guys have been through a lot in love and it's starting to show. I feel like a lot of you guys are cold and snappy a little bit and y'all have walled a lot of people out and y'all could have possibly been putting a lot of focus in regards to your career and been thinking about transitioning in your career because it's like I don't want to be putting myself in these situations with people that I really don't want to be with and shit like that just because it financially benefits me. Now, fuck that shit. I'm not doing that. Y'all have not been listening to the angels. Y'all have not been listening to your inner guidance and your inner wisdom. And y'all realize that this is something that y'all need to stop doing because... If you would have listened to your own guidance and your intuition a long time ago, I feel like y'all wouldn't have been in this situation. Give your carries and your worlds to the angels. Allow us to take your burdens. You're not giving your burdens to God and allowing God to fight your battles for you. You're trying to get out here and doing this shit yourself. And you know what you need to do, but you ain't doing it. You truly know what you need to do, but you ain't doing it. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. See, you question yourself too much. You question yourself too much. And I feel like a lot of you guys, y'all drink or y'all have some type of substance abuse and or y'all battle with depression. It's something. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all battling with something and y'all just not doing it in the right way. Y'all not handling it the right way and you need to be courageous. You need to be courageous. Do you understand what I'm saying? I know y'all been going through a lot. I know things are not. A lot of things happen abruptly. You're still trying to find balance. You have to temper yourself. You have to find this balance. You have to control this beast. You got to have patience. Everything is happening for a reason. Karma is clearing itself up. Karma is clearing itself up. The soil, the soil ain't even like solid around the burial grave yet. You understand what I'm saying? Like <gasps> the sun is just now illuminating. You know, it's just coming out. Like let let the soil firm up first. You know what I'm saying? Like true love, all of this shit is coming to you. It's coming to you. Give your stress and your worries to God. And you truly know what to do, you guys. Please give please give um my cancer singles guidance. 
and love. Please give them additional comments and love. My king says singles. And then we about to get up out of here. About to find out what y'all might be dealing with in the shadows. And y'all can clean up. Pride and ego. Alright. I feel like, what is this? Is this compromise? Yes, that's what I was about to say. Uh, I feel like y'all realize, like, bro, I'm never compromising my pride and my ego for nobody else because I feel like the per lessons I told you. This shit was a lesson. And I feel like God is very despite I told y'all. Didn't I tell y'all shit was going to pop off for y'all this fucking spring? I fucking told y'all. I fucking told y'all. I fucking told you. I told you, don't ever in your fucking life let nobody, don't ever compromise your pride and ego for no fucking body. You are beautiful. You are deserving. You are fucking worthy. Don't you ever in your fucking life let nobody play you. If they want to do that whole ass shit, let them go out there and play with the fucking rats. Let them play with the fucking rats. Have more pride in yourself. You understand? Have more pride in yourself. Don't let nobody kick you in your ego and make you feel like you ain't shit. Fuck them. Stop putting your life on pause for bitch ass motherfuckers like that. Because they still running around. Running rampant on the earth. Ain't nothing going to stop them. That's what they do. The earth is good and bad. There's a purpose for everybody. There's a purpose for them. Because if them evil motherfuckers wasn't around. We would have never seen this fucking light. Girl. And for my cancer men, if these evil motherfuckers was, wasn't around, we would have never seen the light. We would have never learned the lessons. We would have never learned how true karma is. And if you ain't learned nothing throughout the situation, karma is fucking real. Karma is a bitch in Prada. She's an expensive bitch with expensive taste. And if you play with her, oh bitch, you gonna pay greatly. She's an expensive bitch with expensive taste. And if you play with her, you going to pay. Come as a bitch that wear Prada. Don't put your life on pause ever the fuck again. Make sure that you always, always, no, don't ever compromise your pride, your, your dignity, your ego for fucking nobody. And you know it's not good to operate in the ego, but sometimes the ego is there. You got to understand your senses. Because when someone is playing with you, when someone is playing with you, did your ego kick in? That's like, hold on, something ain't sounding right. My ego is not going to allow somebody to play. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your ego and your pride is there for a fucking purpose. Your intuition. This spring is yours. This spring is yours. It is yours. I need you to get this balance. Don't sit there and end up being no fucking goddamn fool and end up on that hangman gallow. If you don't want to get yourself together, the Lord will hang you up indefinitely. Because God put too much work in with you to get you to where you at. For you to still be fucking wallowing around. Crying about some bullshit. That if God ain't take it from you. This motherfucker was going to take you out. Say I'm lying. Stop crying over this bitch. This is about lessons. As long as you learn your lesson. God forgives all. You live to soar another day. Do you understand what I'm saying? We all deal with karma. We all go through these transitions. Don't give up. Don't give the fuck up. Thank God for this. Thank God that you escaped this. He's giving you a chance at something brand new. Thank God. Tell him now. Type in the comments. Thank you, God. Thank you. I didn't see this coming. It hurt me when you tore this away from me. But you spared me. You could have took me out too. But instead you just dealt with them. Thank you for sparing me. Tell God thank you. I, I accept. I appreciate this tower moment. 
Thank you for tearing this foundation down that ain't have shit in it anyway. You allowed me something new. Do y'all hear me? I hope that y'all hear me, you guys. I'm not about to pull another fucking card. I really do feel like this is enough. Let me, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying like shit. I'm lying. Y'all know I'll be lying. I'm sorry. And I know my videos is long, but I like to give y'all information. Like, I, it, I'm not about to give y'all no quick 10, 15, 20 minute video. Like, I could just break it down that quick. And I can do that, but I don't, I don't think that y'all would like that. I don't think that y'all would like that, bro. I need somebody that's going to give me time. Because when y'all call, and if anybody, and if anybody, if y'all have had a personal reading with me, y'all let them know. When y'all have y'all personals, this is what I do. I give y'all time. Because it takes time. You can't just take 10, 15 minutes going through the no. Motherfuckers need time to understand. To understand. Please give the singles one last minute. Yeah. You got better behind you. Stop crying over that spilled milk, bitch. You were a glass of wine. Anyone that did not see you for who you truly are and your value and spilled water for wine, they're an idiot. Stop crying over this shit. Turn around. Walk away into success in the sunset <sighs> stop thank you turn around and walk into new beginnings I don't know how to say it no more you got something solid coming to you not no bullshit not not not, not no honeymoon period you got something that's going to be around forever and you could take that to the bank, bitch. I love y'all. I fucking love y'all, Kansas. And let me tell y'all. Y'all don't work me today. Y'all working me. Oh, working me. Hey, she working me. Hey, she working me. Well, I feel like that boy said something about um eating a can of pork and beans in that song. But I know he didn't. It's okay, y'all. Y'all know I'll be tripping. Anyway, y'all was working me today, y'all. And I love y'all. And listen. I don't know my cases if any of my cases in the DMV that be why y'all let me know um because it's the spring bitch. Y'all hit me up so I can go to the bar and be a star with you, bitch. Cause I'm trying to look, I'm trying to turn it up, bitch, because we went through this shit together. We went through this shit together. Anyway, I love y'all. If this video resonated, if you want a personal and private reading and y'all want some time, y'all want some time with the dime. <laughs> you know, girl. <laughs> if you want some time with me, girlfriend. Oh, hold on. My sexy man. Ooh. My, se Ooh. My sexy man. Y'all want some time with me? Y'all go ahead and click that. Um, First, click that like, share, and subscribe button. Go ahead and hit me a proper drop on that little like button. Go ahead and do that. Um, Click that about tab. That hyperlink right down there. Scorpion Reds Tarot. Um, I hope that you guys have been communicating and sharing love and like what you got with, with each other in the comment section. I love you guys so much. If this video resonated with you, if it gave you any type of clarity, any type of insight at all, and if you would like to give a donation, you can go ahead and do so because I most definitely have some new decks. Um, Mystic Moon Tarot just dropped this new deck. And these are her decks. These decks, right? This one that I'm using here, this, these are her decks. And then um, she also has another, oh, you know what? I'm going to give y'all another treat. See, look, for everybody just jumped out of the video. Y'all done fucked up. Y'all done fucked up. I'm about to give you an extra treat. So, for the ones. So, for Mystic Moon, she has a lot of Oracle decks. And I love her Oracle decks. She just dropped two new decks that I don't have. And I'm going to get it. So, um, y'all donations and stuff that y'all been sending and be sitting in my PayPal. I'll be waiting for enough money so I can get my decks. And when I put the order in, I put the order. So, if y'all want to know what's going on with the person that you've been dealing with and what they're feeling, and if they could talk to you right now, what they would say to you, it just fell out. It says, "I, I just have to do something else right now. Please try to understand." 
So if y'all are not together right now, and especially y'all not communicating, it's because they're doing something else right now. But we already knew that because we said from break it was a third party. It says, I can't seem to find the right words to say to you. Our connection still affects me. You inspire me. And I'm not the same person that you remember. This person changed. And I'm not necessarily thinking that they changed for the better. And I feel like that's the reason why this person is holding themselves back from you. Because they know that they're not shit. And if anything, they got worse. I don't feel like they know how to change. I just have to do something else right now. Please try to understand. They're fighting and they're battling their own demons. They can't find the right words to say because they know they haven't changed. And y'all connection affects them because they know that they will never be accepted back like this. And that's why you would never forgive them. But you are inspiration to them. And they're not the same person that they were when y'all were with each other. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, that was just one extra little treat. So, um, yeah, let me not drag this out anymore. But yeah. So if anyone wants to give a love donation, you could do so. It will definitely go to me getting my Mystic Moon decks. And y'all shout out to her. Um, she is a tarot reader on YouTube as well. So and she does really good in depth um twin flame reading. So um she's the creator of these decks. So y'all go and check her out. Share love and light. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support and watching this long ass video. <laughs> Peace.